בלי עין הרע. Push away from me the evil eye. What's the evil eye? Do we believe in the evil eye? Well, our sages teach us that when one speaks about somebody else in a negative fashion, not only the person speaking, the person listening, the person that's talked about, all three of them experiment a spiritual death. Yes, believe it or not. You're actually killing somebody with your words. Of course, you can understand that if you put a post on Facebook or Twitter about somebody else, you could actually kill him. But here I'm talking about just a conversation that's innocent between three people. What happens? The Rebbe Rashab explains that the word Satan comes from the word Lehatot, to turn. And therefore, what does a Satan do? He tempts you into speaking about somebody else. He makes you turn away from Hashem. But once he turns away from Hashem, at that moment, the Satan himself turns away from you and goes and accuses you and says, look, look, he is speaking about somebody else. At that moment, you, with your words, have brought a judgment, an audit, spiritual audit, on somebody else. At that moment, the Satan says, look, if you're calling the IRS to report somebody else, maybe you have a problem. And at that moment, we start in heaven auditing you, your spiritual level and situation. And then things just get blocked. No, Ainara, the evil eye, only exists if you believe in it. Or the moment you speak, Lashonara, at that moment, the evil eye you had on somebody else actually goes on you. The moment a person realizes that God created the world with speech, and man is called Ruach Memalela, a speaking being, we are made at God's image. With our words, we can build, or God forbid, destroy. And that's why it's so important to be very careful when you speak about somebody else, not to speak bad. And this is what the parasha of Metzorah speaks about. Be careful. At the beginning, you create an environment which is a negative environment. The house will be blemished with stains all over. You might not see these stains, but they are there. And if you continue with your behavior, eventually your clothing, which are closer to you, will become blemished. And if you really consistently continue to speak Lashon Ara, then your skin will be filled, filled with leprosy. And then nobody will want to be around you. Why? Because you separated with your words two individuals, then Hashem will separate you from the community. So we have to be very careful with what happens to us and what we speak about. I remember when I was a young student in yeshiva, one day I loved my teacher. And one day somebody told me something bad about my teacher. I didn't pay attention to it, but there was a change of perspective. The next day I came to the classroom and I could just not look at him. The words, as sweet and deep as they were, could not penetrate my ears. I went up to him. I said, teacher, I heard Lashon Ara about you. Please forgive me. And then we were able to bond again. So next time we have an opportunity to bring peace, let's do that instead of bringing strife and separation between people.